So you have linked Google Ads to Google Analytics, but GA4 audiences do not populate in Google Ads. Why? There are many possible reasons. So let's take a look. Before we continue, first, just a quick note that I have a blog post about the same topic. You will find the link to it below the video. So if you want to learn some additional details, or maybe if I add more reasons why your audiences are not populating, then take a look at that blog post. So the first reason why your audiences are not populating is because maybe your audience is too narrow and the audience size in Google Analytics is quite small. For example, if you go to Google Analytics admin and then in the data display, you go to audiences and see that your audience has, let's say less than 10 users or maybe less than 100 users, then it's quite likely that in Google Ads, that audience will not populate. So you need either more traffic or maybe you need to make your audience settings broader. Another possible reason is maybe your Google Analytics 4 property is not connected to Google Ads. You can check that by going to admin and then in the product links, click Google ads links. If you don't see any links there, or maybe you cannot see that particular Google ads account, then this is a problem. To link the account, you will need to click link right here, then select your account, complete all these steps, and then wait for maybe a day, maybe two days, and hopefully your audiences will start populating. Another possible reason is that maybe you do have linked Google Ads to Google Analytics, but in that connection, personalized advertising is disabled. Here I am in the admin panel of a Google Analytics 4 property, and I have Google Ads account linked. However, in the personalized advertising section, it says disabled. If you see this as well, it means that your audiences will not populate in Google Ads. To fix this, you should click here and then in the enable personalized advertising, click this toggle and then save. Once you do this, then wait for a while, probably the next day or maybe the day after tomorrow, and hopefully your audiences will start populating. If you have very recently linked Google Analytics with Google Ads, for example, just several hours ago, then of course, the audiences will not be populated because audiences require more time to accumulate the data. Also keep in mind that if you have, let's say an audience in Google Analytics created several months ago and it has like 5,000 visitors, it does not mean that all those visitors will be available in Google Ads audience as well. Google Ads will try to find the match in its database and then if it finds it, then the audience will be populated. However, the number will always be lower than what you see in the Google Analytics audience. Then the next reason is related to Google consent mode. If you fire Google Analytics tag, but one of these two consent groups is denied, then your audiences will not be populated in Google Ads. Now let me show you what I mean. Here I have a demo page on which I have activated the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. Google Analytics is installed with Google Tag Manager. And on this initialization, if I go to tags, I see that my GA4 tag has fired. However, on this particular event, if I go to consent, I will see that add user data and add personalization data in the current state, they are denied. So even though some data was sent to Google Analytics, that data will not be used to populate audiences in Google Ads. The audiences will be populated only for those visitors who have this current state as granted. So it means that the visitor lands on your site, sees the cookie consent pop up and then clicks, I agree. And only after that moment, when Google Analytics requests are sent to Google, then your audiences should start accumulating. But it's also possible that maybe you have misconfigured consent mode. And even if I click, I agree, the consent state remains denied. In that case, you should troubleshoot your setup to make sure that if consent is given, then the consent state of user data and ad personalization, they should be granted. Consent mode is a quite large topic and explaining it would go out of scope of this tutorial. But if you want to learn that in depth, then take a look at my Google Tech Magic course for beginners, where I have a separate module dedicated to consent settings. Another feature that must be enabled in Google Analytics for your audiences to populate is Google Signals. So go to your Google Analytics 4 property, then click admin, go to data collection, and then in the Google Signals data collection, you should be looking for this toggle which says that it is on. If it is disabled, your audiences will not populate. Also, 
If you have never turned it on, then you will see a button that says turn on or something like that. So click it and then complete all the necessary steps in order to enable Google Signals because this is necessary for Google Ads audiences to begin accumulating. If you see that Google Signals are enabled in your property, it is possible that this feature is still responsible for your audience issue. Because in Google Analytics, in the same section where you can enable Google Signals, you can also configure in each regions and countries Google Signals are actually active. If you see that all regions, let's say 307 out of 307 are allowed, then this is okay. But maybe you or someone else in your company have disabled Google Signals in particular regions. For example, here, if I click on this gear icon, well, first of all, I see that one region is not enabled. So if I click here, and I know that in Germany, it is disabled. So if it should remain that way, well, this is okay, but just keep in mind that in Germany, your audiences will not be populated. Or in fact, what I mean is that if you have traffic coming from Germany, then those visitors will not be included in your audiences. But if you think that this was a mistake, you should enable it back and click apply. The next reason is related to NPA, which stands for non-personalized ads. In Google Analytics 4, you can mark certain events or user properties as NPA. If an audience contains any event or any user property that is marked as NPA, then that audience will not be populated in Google Ads. Now let's take a look how can we check this. Here I am in the admin panel and in the audience section, I have this form submissions audience. Basically, it is an audience that includes all users that have triggered a form submission event. And let's say that this audience is not populated in Google Ads. So even though this audience condition looks fairly simple, I would now check if this form submission event is not marked as an NPA. We can do that by going to admin, then events, and take a look at the form submission. And we can see that this is NPA, which means non-personalized ads. If you think that this is a mistake, then you can click three dots next to that event and click on mark as NPA. The same applies to user properties because in the list of custom definitions and then custom dimensions, if you have some user property right here or user scope custom dimension, then you can click three dots and then either mark as MPA or unmark as MPA. The next two reasons are not that popular anymore, but they still might apply to your project. The reason why they are not that popular anymore because now Google consent mode is fairly widely adopted. But in the past, if your developers wanted to programmatically manage whether Google signals should be enabled for that particular user or not, then there was a parameter called allow Google signals. And in fact, it's still working right now, but with the adoption of consent mode, the consent mode will also be affecting if Google signals are activated or not. But if you're not using consent mode and you're still using this parameter, then it's worth checking it. So if you're using Google Tag Manager and you have installed Google Analytics 4 with it, then go to your main Google Tag and check if you have a parameter called allow Google signals. If yes, then use the preview mode to check if its value is true if consent is given. Because it's possible that maybe your setup is not working incorrectly and even if the user gives consent, the value of this parameter still remains false. Because if it remains false, then that particular user will not be included in your Google Ads audience. And if the false value applies to all visitors, it means that all visitors will not be included in your Google Ads audience. In this particular configuration, I have a variable that reads the data layer to check the consent status. Is it true or false? So you should use the preview mode of Google Tag Manager to check if the value of this parameter is actually true when consent is given. And related to the previous tip, there's also another parameter that keeps Google signals enabled, but it disables the ad personalization signals, which are necessary for the audiences to populate. So you should check your Google tag in Google Tag Manager for this parameter as well, because if it is false, then your audiences will not be populated. If you don't use Google Tag Manager and instead you're working with Gtag or Google Tag directly in the source code of your website, 
you should take a look at your code and you should be looking for the parameters allow Google signals or allow add personalization signals. If their values are true, then everything is fine. But if their values are false, or at least one parameter's value is false, I mean this or this, then your audiences will not be populated. Hopefully this video resolved your issue. But if not, don't worry. Below the video, you will find a link to a blog post with more tips. So take a look there. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.